Hello, Chet Davis, your technology tutor with today's tech quick tip. Sometimes you get an email and it's not who you think it might be that sent it. Here's what I mean. It actually caught me off guard this week and I'm pretty savvy on this kind of stuff. The reason why I think it caught me off guard is I had recently done some additional work in my Facebook pages, my Facebook business pages and creating, launching a new one. And I, I hadn't fully launched it yet, so I'd been working in the background. And so I think that's why this kind of caught me off guard. But it's an important lesson for all of us. If, if, if you see a message come into your email inbox and you're not sure, if it looks suspicious, it probably is suspicious. So, you know, what's the old adage, you know, if it looks like garlic, if it smells like garlic, it probably is garlic. And I'm using that euphemism for something that might be a little bit more nasty. But here's what I'm saying. Take a look. It looks like this message was sent from Facebook because there we see it's from Facebook. Confirm your account on Facebook. So I opened up the message and it looks fairly legitimate because they did use the Facebook colors and so forth. But take a look. There's two things that cue me off right here that this is not sent from Facebook. Take a look in the from line, the sender. Yeah, the word Facebook is there, but look what we have inside of the bracket. And and, and that, that technology uh, it uses a code called HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. And they've actually, so this message is actually from somewhere in the Netherlands. That's the .nl. So that right away makes it highly suspicious and tells me, you know, I probably should delete this. But let me show you one other thing. When I scroll what we call the mouse over, when I scroll over this link and it says, you know, to confirm, simply follow this link. And it looks like it's a Facebook account. See that? HTTP colon slash slash www.facebook.com, so on and so on. But when I put my trackball, my cursor, my mouse right over that, look at the actual code that it goes to. It, it, it actually goes to a different website. And that's www.capadonis.com up slash load. That concerns me a great deal. So if if I found this in my inbox, I would not click on it. So if you're getting unsolicited emails now and then, and we all do, unfortunately, it's kind of the nature of the beast, beware, one, who it's sent from. Two, if it asks you to click on a link before you do it, do a mouse over with that and just find out who or where this link is really going to take you. This will help you avoid ending up on some website that might give you a Trojan horse, that might give you some malware, some virus software. That's today's tech quick tip from your technology tutor, Chet Davis. Thanks for joining me. If you have some follow-up questions about today's topic, if you have suggestions for future tech tips, please visit me at my website, www.yourtechnologytutor.com. That's yourtechnologytutor.com.